It seems like just yesterday that the Love Bites Wolfpack experienced a huge shock that would send ripples through the community. On August 17th, 2021, they posted on Instagram, an important announcement from Love Bites management. We are writing to announce that as of this day of August 17th, 2021, Miho will be leaving Love Bites. As a result, for the time being, the band will be taking a hiatus from all activities as Love Bites. This was accompanied by statements from both Miho and Love Bites. Miho wrote, It was really hard to make this decision, but I have to announce my departure from Love Bites as of August 17th, 2021, so I really apologize for those who are shocked by this sudden announcement. Over the past couple of years, I have been self-reflecting and reconsidering how I can be myself as a musician. When I look back, this period gave me an opportunity to broaden my perspective in both my professional and personal life. Love Bites has been in my life since 2016 and it always holds my best memories. I couldn't have done any of these without my bandmates, crew, staff, and the undying love and support from fans all across the globe. My words cannot describe how much I want to thank you all for everything. I'm parting ways with the band, however my spirit for heavy metal never dies. Also, Love Bites will keep moving forward, so I really hope you all keep giving the same love for their future. Thank you so much again for all your love and support. Hope to see you again one day soon. Mio. So really a kind, graceful, loving message of parting ways and wishing the best for the band. The rest of the band also released a statement. Today we have to let you know that our bassist Miho is leaving Love Bites. We're so sorry to be bringing such sad news to our fans and everyone who has supported us so far. After Miho told us she was thinking of leaving, the band and their staff have had countless meetings to find a way for her to stay. But in the end, we decided to respect Miho's wish. We struggle to find the right words to say. We need to let you know that we will be suspending our activities as Love Bites for a while. However, we are definitely coming back, and we kindly ask you for your patience until then. Thank you all for your continued support for Love Bites' future and for Miho's future. Asami, Midori, Miyako, and Haruna. Needless to say, this hit hard for the fanbase, as Miho founded the band with drummer Haruna after they'd performed together in Destros, a since-dissolved band which had featured many other great musicians, including Narumi of Lonesome Blue, Saki from Naimafila, and Mina from Fate Gear. Now with the absence of a basis, many of us wondered what the future of Love Bites would be. How would they be able to move on after losing such a huge pillar of the band? Then, many months passed without a word about a new bassist. All the way from August 2021, beyond the new year, there was no word about what Love Bites was going to do. I wasn't quite a super fan of the band yet at this point as I had only discovered them a couple months earlier, but I can only imagine how frustrating and devastating this would have been for the hardcore fans whose favorite band was Love Bites. This must have felt like forever to them, not knowing what the future of Love Bites would hold. But finally, on March 30th, 2022, they posted on Instagram, Finally, Love Bites is back. Auditions for a new bassist. We look forward to receiving applications from passionate bassists from all over the world. This exciting announcement began the process of finding a new bassist. Suddenly, the invitation was out for everyone who is a fan of Love Bites and a capable bassist to have a chance to join the band. Asami said, We really wanted to see as many people as we could without placing any restrictions on who could apply. At first, we had people send in application forms along with a video of them playing bass, and it made us very excited to realize there were so many people to see out there. After sifting through hundreds of applicants, certain ones were chosen to be directly interviewed by the band, whether in person or overseas, and then invited to the rehearsal space to jam and see if they had chemistry. One of the applicants who was called to the audition in person was only 15, still in her first year of high school. She told them that she'd love to be able to join Love Bites and grow together as a musician with them. They also had a solo artist who said she could help with songwriting, but two bassists really stood out to them and were called into the finals. One who was well versed in power metal and primarily played only with a pick, then a bassist with an all around skill set who posted bass videos to YouTube. Now we know her as Fami, the chosen bassist. The pick bass player stood out because of her confidence and coolness on the bass. She had said in the audition that she wanted to grow with and learn from the other members of the band and that her main priority was to support the rest of the band. Her sound stood out because of her picking approach, and she even changed up some of the arrangements to add her own flavor, which Miyako found tasteful. I don't know about you guys, but Miyako's the one who I would want to impress the most. But ultimately, Love Bites chose who was right for them as a band, and I think it really speaks to the quality of Fami, not only as a bassist, but also as a person. 
During the interview process, Fami opened up to them. I've always wanted to play music that captivates people, and I found that the image I have of the kind of music I want to play it matches perfectly with the music that you play. And then I found the ad for this bassist audition and applied for it. I was playing bass on my own YouTube channel, but I'm on a hiatus right now. If I was a bassist for this cool band, I could embark on a journey as Fami once again. That's the reason that I applied. I want to play my best while headbanging and swinging my hair. To me, this says that Fami just has a huge passion for the bass and wants to find a way to play it as much as she can. She wants to captivate people and Love Bites is the style she wants to play. The other applicant also had a great attitude, knowing her place within the band, supporting the drums and vocals. But in the end, I think they went with Fami because she's not just a bassist. She's a born entertainer who's passionate about her instrument and she has a wider skill set to apply to the music with slapping, finger picking, and tapping skills. She was also willing to work on expanding her skills on the spot, learning a difficult galloping rhythm prominent in Love Bites that she wasn't able to do before. She mentioned that she went through a lot of trial and error, but in the additions, she nailed it. She later commented, I feel like I'm kind of injecting myself into the already complete story of Love Bites, but through performing and talking with them, I realized that I'd like to fit in with them while bringing my own color to the mix. And that's exactly what she did. Haruna and Asami noted how clearly they could hear the galloping notes as Fami played them, even with her fingers. Midori also mentioned that Fami was locked in perfectly to the rhythm of the guitars and the groove of the drums. On top of that, Asami remarked, As soon as she entered the studio, I just felt the atmosphere begin to sparkle. She left such an impression on me. This is really just a hunch, but I believe that she will bring a nice, fresh element to the band, and I think we all feel the same. That that's what's most important. And I have so much respect for the fact that Love Bites wasn't just looking for someone who would slot in under them and only provide support so they could maintain 100% control of the sound, but instead they recognized that Fami would give them a fresh element and some extra sparkle. It shows that even though they sometimes dress the part, they aren't self-centered divas deep down. They want what's best for the band as a whole, and none of them are threatened by handing the spotlight to someone else. This really shows in the songs that they've put out for the Judgment Day album. They've given Fami time to shine and stand out. Both music videos so far feature an intro by Fami. The members of Love Bites obviously really respect Fami and want us to see why they do and welcome her warmly. And how could we not? Fami's a really awesome musician. Now I just really wonder how it will go with Fami while playing live. But let's be real, if she nailed the in-person auditions with a group as talented as Love Bites, I think we can be pretty sure she'll absolutely nail it live. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out this other video here.